Well, do you think an accident would help? It would help to the comedy for views, for views yeah. it would help. For views, it would definitely help. I, it? I, I think it would go viral if we had an accident. Okay, right. I thought we'd start with a love song. A bit like, oh, that was red, that roll. No, no, he wasn't red. He wasn't red. He wasn't red. red. He was, he was, he was, red, he was amber. He was amber. I got yeah. sexual right. healing. I thought, okay. Right, so we got Addy B. Robbie K from DFC. Robbie oh, K, there's a I like tell, that. Us, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, fabulous. Well, 35, I haven't come out yet. Uh, when I do, uh, it will be this with this man here, Thank who's uh, 40 on Monday. 40 on Monday, Four, absolutely. 40? Yeah. 4 0 on Monday, wow. yeah, absolutely. They don't look a day over, 39. So rumour has it you have an event this weekend. Tell us a little bit about that. We certainly do, my friend. Um, if you remember, last March we uh, launched our uh, uh, artist by DFC. I was there. So you were there. there. You were. You filmed it. It was very good, my friend. Uh, and that's why we've rebooked you. Um, so our event this Sunday is a follow-up from there. Um, we are launching it at a bar in Preston called 1842. Good bar. Good bar. Great bar, great food. Yeah, great food, great bar. Um, it's going on from two until seven o'clock. Um, and basically, two till four is going to be our soloist. I like the ceramic, the ceramic. Ceramic. The, the scenic, the scenicness of Panoramic. This bar. Panoramic. Panoramic. Like it's like a Panoramic. Ceramic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Wednesday yeah. afternoon. Uh, I'm doing sax. Sax I'm doing Oh, oh yes! But yes. just to talk over this, yeah. something that people may not know about me, big, big secret, I used to be in a Take That Tribute yes, band did. about they 10 the years days. ago. Who were you? I was Howard. Right. A million love songs later. This is what I used to do, this is what I used to do. Did it. And here I am trying oh, to tell that you. That one was Red Ross. Bloody hell. A million love songs later. My bet. You go. <laughs> Here I am. So I, to get to the so I knocked on the window. Adam put wound it down, and I said, oh, "What are you doing?" Pay for the wedding. No, no, no. You were smiling because you were watching Strictly, Strictly Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like... This thing I've got really got into is I've got older, you know. <laughs> he was yeah, sat in a car park on his own watching Strictly Come yeah. Dancing. I guess in the, in the zone for the wedding, if I'm really yeah. honest with you. I've seen nothing wrong With a little bump and grind See nothing wrong I don't see Not yet. <laughs> I don't see I had a funny one where um, I asked Claire to wind my shirt. Oh. And unfortunately, she forgot to wind the sleeves of my shirt. Oh, and first world problems, Borsy. Massive problems. <laughs> it was massive <laughs> crease. Now, it was a really hot summer. I just had a waistcoat on. So I went to the hotel, put my shirt on. I told this story already. There's no way I can do a first dance with my sleeves creased like this. So I knocked on the door and quite an attractive lady answered the door. <laughs> and I said, hey, I'm really sorry. I said, can I, can I borrow your iron? I said, I can't do a first dance with my sleeves. I said, oh, I'm coming to the wedding. She said, no problem at all. She said, come in. So in fact, I'll iron it for you. I'm doing a bit of ironing myself. So I took my shirt off. I'm stood there with just my pants on. Okay. She's ironing my sleeves and my shirt. I'm just a knock at the door. Ah. So I opened the door and I say, hello. And this guy says, oh, I'm really sorry, wrong room. So I shut the door, obviously got no top on. He said, um, that was my husband. I said, all right, no problem oh. at all. So I put the shirt on very quickly, ran to do the first dance, did the first dance with her husband staring at me, thinking he was going to kill me. Oh, no. But I got through the night. What day? Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. Come on now. By now, you should have somehow realised what you got to do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. So any last nuggets of advice that you can throw out there to brides and grooms? Yeah, I mean, I suppose my biggest one would be um, is go and see anyone that you're booking for your wedding. Can you tell me something? Surround yourself with lovely people on your big day. Yeah, my big tip is, is go and see as many people as you can before you book them. Um, especially if you're not using us, go and see your DJ, go see your host, 
go see your singer. Uh, make sure you like the person. Um, they might be the best. Very true. They might be the best person in the world at what they do, but you have to like them to spend your wedding day with them. Yeah, you get spend one your chance. money on them as well. Yeah. Amen to that. Amen. Amen, brother. Thank you.